Hi everybody, Rachel here from RatesTheStamper.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really, really fun card using the fabulous Flamingo stamp set. I think I this is one of my all-time favorites. It's so fun and tropical and you can make this anything. You can make a happy birthday, congratulations, really whatever you want it to be. So this uses this beautiful stamp set, Fabulous Flamingo. It does have multiple layers. It's photopolymer, so there's lots of different things you can do with it depending on what you want to do. We are going to use a bunch of different inks for this today, and I will put all the measurements for everything on my blog. Essentially, what this is, let me just show you the card here, is this is one piece of cardstock here. Okay, so it's just one, one sheet. So this is four and a quarter by 11. Okay, and then what we do is we're basically just cut the two pieces off, and they're going to help to make this fold. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this piece down, Okay, so this would be the rest of your card here. You have your uh, bottom piece and your middle piece. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and make a bridge to hold that together. So it's very, very simple to make, super easy. It's a fun card. You can make it so it's centered on the right, on the left, in the middle, your choice, but it's a lot of fun to make. So let's get started. This is using Tranquil Tide as the base. And then we also have some layers using Powder Pink and Whisper White. Powder pink and whisper white, and powder pink and whisper white. And these are basically just going to be the layers that go onto this. So we're really going to just keep out right now the whisper white layers. We do also need a panel for the inside, and we're going to need one more little scrap piece for our flamingo. So that's kind of just going to be gauged to your scrap. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the um, flamingo on the side for now. And we're going to stamp the inside, and this is going to be the cross piece. This is going to be the bottom piece, and then this is going to be the piece that holds it together, okay? So I kind of try to keep them in the in the way that they're going to lay on the card so you know exactly where you want to stamp them, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to start with just the water, and we're going to add this to a block, okay? And we're going to stamp this in, it's my flamingo piece, we're going to stamp this in pool party, okay? So we're going to just ink up our pool party. And we're going to put this across, so this is going to be on the bottom. And you can kind of move it if you want to turn it around. If you want to flip these so they're kind of connected, you certainly can. That way the pieces will have a little bit of continuity. It kind of also saves you a little bit on the stamping. And then we're going to just do this. This is going to be the bottom piece where the flamingo is standing. And we'll just add just a little bit more because the water can be behind them as well. And then you can overlap this as much as you want. You can also go in um, with your soft sky and I'll show that in a minute. You can go in with your soft sky and you can add in the sky piece. So it kind of gives you a little bit more cover for your, um, for your stamp. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my palm frond. I'm gonna get out and be little kind of like beach grass, sea grass, whatever as you want to call it. I'm going to keep both of these out because we're going to use these a lot. So generally, let me just swap these. Generally, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the lightest color and we're going to add this to all of them and then we're going to add in the other one. So I'm going to start with, we have Tranquil Tide, Garden Green, and Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm going to do Lemon Lime Twist first. So again, I'm going to just kind of stamp this all over. Doesn't have to be any specific part. Again, with your photopolymer stamps, you do want to kind of let them set a minute. I'm kind of going through this quickly just because I don't want to bore you guys. You can make it go up as far as you want. Remember, this is going to be the inside piece, so kind of just depending on what you want with the peaking. All right, I'm going to wipe this off. Put this away so I don't stick my arm in it. And then we're going to go with the garden green. And so same thing again, just add in the garden green. My garden green could use with a little little bit of re-inker. <laughs> it's usually a little bit darker than this, but we made this for our um, stamp club last week. So it was really a lot of people stamping with it. So that is, just reminds me of one thing. Um, all of the in colors from the 2018 in colors are going to be uh, retiring very, very soon. So that includes Sweet Sugar Plum, Peekaboo Peach, um, Flirty Flamingo, which is a great one for this card with the Flamingo, Tran uh, not Tranquil Tide, Dapper Denim and Emerald Envy. So if there's any of those colors that you have the pads but not the re-inker, you want to get them 
now because once they um, people realize that they are selling out, they are going to go fast. They always go the fastest, and then people are really sad because it will cost you a fortune to buy yourself a reinker on eBay. And I know nobody wants to do that. So please just make sure that if you have a ink color, that would be like my one of my biggest suggestions is to make sure that if you have an ink pad, you have that that you get. And I put that one in the wrong slot. You get the reinker that goes with it. And that's the wrong one. <laughs> you don't want to re-ink this with Fresh Fig. But you want to make sure that you have the re-inker that goes with it. Because otherwise, you are going to be so sad. This only costs $3.75. You will pay like $15. No joke. I had someone that did that once before. And they were so, so distraught because they didn't get it. And then by the time they got it, it was sold out. And they paid for it on eBay. And it was obnoxious, the price they paid. Now I'm going to go in a little bit with the... Um, seagrass and just add just a few of these to the to the bottom you can kind of stamp and stamp off again just depending on what you want it to look like again I did add a little bit of this to the side if you wanted to add the uh, palm fronds you could do that as well and then I'm going to go back in right now that was lemon lime twist and I'm going to do the tranquil tide as well okay so you notice I didn't clean that off I should have but since I was going to a darker color I skipped okay so there we're finished with that now what you're gonna do and I'm not gonna bore you with doing this because I don't want to make it take too long but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sponge and you're gonna take your soft sky ink and you're gonna grab your sponge and you're just gonna pounce on the top first just to bring in a little bit of color you can do this at the water too and then just kind of swirl so what it's going to do is it's going to fill in all the edges so you can see that you have a sky behind there. Okay, and you can do this on the bottom as well. Another thing you could do on the bottom if you wanted to, instead of just inking with the pool party, you could also go in and add a little bit of um, Island Indigo or Bermuda Bay. And those two will really make a, like a nice color combination for you with the water. So I kind of give you like that tropical Florida feel of water. So again, I don't want to do that excessively and bore you guys. So that was soft sky. Now what we're going to do, we're going to just set these over to the side for a second and we're going to come in with our flamingo. Okay. So I have flirty flamingo and powder pink. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base of the flamingo first. Okay. So you have a solid piece. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can do the solid piece. And then you could do the feathers on the top and then you could do the legs separately and then they also have a piece that is kind of the contrasted feather so you could technically do three and the legs so I'm gonna show you how to do this one because it kind of makes it a little bit easier and I'll show you what I mean afterwards once you once you see the finished product you'll understand so I'm gonna do the um, basically like the solid image of the bird. Okay, and I'm gonna do this in powder pink. You could also do this in um, Blushing Bride or Pink Pirouette because this powder pink is a little bit darker. Oops, that's a little bit too small. A little bit darker than what you um, you give it credit for. Let's see if I can find a slightly wider piece. I might have to stamp this a little. Yeah, I'm going to stamp this a little awkward, so don't mind me. It's kind of stamped crooked, but we're going to trim this out, so it's not going to really matter. So I'm going to give that a second to transfer. Okay, I'm going to pull that off, close this up so I don't make a mess. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the whole thing. So this is the whole outline image and the legs. I'm inking this in powder pink. Okay, and then I'm going to take my smoky slate marker and I'm going to just color in the legs just a little bit. Just a little. It doesn't have to be a lot. Did the feet a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to take my basic black marker. And I don't know if their beaks are black or not, but mine are. Mine are mine's. Jeez Louise. And I'm just going to make a black beak. And what I'm doing is I'm going to take this, I'm going to huff on it just to make it a little wetter. And then I'm going to line this up. Please pardon my head. There we go. I think I stamped that off. I don't think it's lined up whatsoever. <laughs> 
So you want to take your time and line yours up better. But even when I did this before, my other one was a little bit askew. Yeah, and it still looks kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this out. So as you can see, this one here wasn't lined up exactly. So I'm going to trim this out. And this is fairly easy to fussy cut. What you're going to do is you're going to just trim around and you can make this as close or not as you'd like. Really once you, I kind of went up a little closer to the second part of the body. As I could, and I did forget to add in his eyeball there. So I'm going to take my, uh, stamp and rate marker and just make his eyeball a little blacker. And you can go ahead if you wanted to, you can kind of sponge the edge of this if you don't like the way you finished it off. But just be a little bit careful when you get down to his legs because you don't want to nip too much off. But the fun part about this being photopolymer is it really makes it simple for you to line it up, except if you're doing it on video, then all bets are off pretty much. <laughs> all right, let me see if I can pop this out. There we go. Okay, and then what I did with the legs was I just kind of went to one and trimmed it all the way in, kind of up to the top, and then I went around this foot here and kind of trimmed, just make sure I don't cut that one off by accident, trimmed to meet the other one. So it really isn't too bad. You can kind of get in there and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, just pop that off. Okay, so just like that, there you have it. I do want to give him just a little bit of an eyeball. I did miss his eyeball. All right, right like that. All right, so now all we have to do, that really wasn't too time consuming considering, all we have to do now is we're gonna add a little bit of dimensionals to him. And remember, we also do have the mini dimensionals. So if you wanted to add any specifically to his leg, you could do that. They are um, pretty tiny to the mini dimensionals. We're gonna, I'm gonna add one to his head. And you can add them, you know, as many as you wanted to. You could add one to the connecting leg. I think that's what I told my club ladies to do is just to put the leg together. Kind of like this down here. So just get your, oops, let go, buddy. Get your legs together and kind of put your dimensional on there. And you could trim it up a bit if you wanted to. But all we're going to do now is just assemble our layers, and then we just have to add the greeting on the inside. Okay. So what you're going to do is you have our big piece, big piece, little piece. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of Fast Fuse. Right like that. Same on this one. Fast Fuse. Oh, did I measure it? I don't think I measured this one just a little bit off. How do you like that? Let me trim this down just a smidge. Obviously, I didn't do my measuring very well. Get down to two. I'm going to make this a little bit shorter than it probably should be, but that's okay. I'll give you the right measurements. No worries. Let me put that on there. Okay. And then we have our one more piece. This is going to go here. You all know it wouldn't be reach the stamper if I didn't have to recut something while I was doing it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put our green layer. We're going to put our pink layer onto our Tranquil Tide layer. So this is the very bottom. Okay, this is going to be the very bottom of our card here. This is going to be our cross panel layer. Okay, this is what's going to hold the card together. I do have my flamingo, but I'm not going to put it on just yet because I want to make sure I like where it is. Move him off of here so he doesn't get stuck. And then this panel actually goes onto this card up here. So you're just going to take your fast fuse, pop this on right like that. Okay, and we're going to fold this down again just to make sure he's nice and folded. We're going to put this at the bottom. So this is going to go all the way to the bottom. This is the easiest way to do it. All the way to the bottom for that. And you can either do this with... Um, Dimensionals, if you wanted to, if you wanted to pop this up with dimensionals, that's another way to do it. I'm just going to put some fast fuse on the top. And, oh, that's the end of it. And on the bottom. Okay, so again, make sure this is lined up so it's square to the bottom. Okay, fold this down. And you're just going to take this panel and set it right on here. 
just like that. Okay, so now the whole thing is lined up just like you want it. There's no adhesive. Now you can take your flamingo and put him on here just where you want him, just like that. And then the only other thing you have to do is you have to add your inside panel here. So you, if you want to have it so you can see your greeting, you could put something small right there. So if you wanted to put like, thanks, um, tickled pink for you is a really cute one. I'm not sure if it's gonna actually fit in that slide or not. Or the other thing you could do is you could hide it so it's back here behind your flamingo. So let me put this right here. Let's see what that looks like. Move them over just a little bit. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to just pick him up and oops, I want to do this with Memento ink. So I'm going to pardon my head again. Make sure he's nice and straight. And I'm going to just stamp this right here. Put that right there. I know this is moving underneath of here. Now this is the one time where you do want to make sure that you're very careful. <laughs> because after all this work, you want to make sure that you take your time to stamp your image. And that you, woo, you put your black stamp pad away so you don't get it all over your beautiful card that you just worked so hard on. And then we're just going to take some Fast Fuse. Put this in. Just like so. And then all done. How cute is that? So, so simple. And again, as you can see, depends on what you want. So if you want your um, flamingo to have a little bit more of a see-through instead of this one, what you could do. So what I did for this one here was I stamped with this and then I stamped with the body. So I did the feather overlay over the whole body overlay. On this one here, what I did is I used the full image and then I did this as the overlay. But technically you could do it with all three. So you could do a really light, you could do this in like uh, Blushing Bride. You could do the the more of the body of this in either, um, I'm sorry, I would say do the base in Pink Pirouette. You could do this in either Blushing Bride or Powder Pink and then do the darkest layer in Flirty Flamingo. And then you're just gonna add a little bit with your legs. Like I said, these are a little bit darker um, just because I did direct marker this one I probably inked with the pad just very very lightly But two beautiful ways to do it and there are a lot of really really fun sentiments in here And I really adore the um, the script of this so I really really hope that this is one of the stamp sets that carries over But again celebration is still going on through March 31st of 2018 So with any $50 purchase you do get a free um free item from Celebration. There's lots of stuff. They just added some new things that will be available on March 15th. Um, go right to my blog and you'll see what the items are, but there's some, um, the Myths and Magic Limit paper. There's a couple designer series paper, some embossing folders. Again, you can get all these supplies and more in my online store 24-7 at ratesthestamper.stampinup.net. And if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email at ratesthestamper at gmail.com. I do also put out a newsletter, so if you'd like to subscribe to that, all you have to do is send me your full uh, your email address to my email address, which is ratesthestamper at gmail.com, and I will be glad to add you to that. Um, also, I am now adding people for the next catalog when they send out the new catalog. So if you would like a free copy of that, all you have to do is send me your full mailing address, including your zip code, to ratesthestamper at gmail.com, and I'll make sure to add you to the catalog mailing list. Now, they won't mail that until probably mid-May. So even though I put you on the list, it doesn't mean you're going to get it sooner than anybody else. However, if you wanted to join as a demonstrator, you would get it sooner because you can order that in April. So if you would like to join as a demo, all you have to do is either go to ratesthestamper.stampinup.net and you could click join now. You get to pick $125 worth of stuff for $99. And during celebration only, which will be ending soon, you get two additional free stamp sets, which could be like an extra $100 value, really, because there are a couple stamp sets that are really big, really expensive. Doesn't matter what price you pick. And you can get anything you want in there. You can't choose bundles or celebration. That's the only caveat. And if you have an order, here is the March Hostess code, J-D-Y-T-Y-T-F-Y. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. I am available all the time. You can reach me at reachthestamper.gmail.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you have an awesome day.